Where are we at? I don't know the name of it. I think it's Kalinin Bay. Kalinin? 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 Kalinin Bay. In the last episode, we showed you how our paravane fish are deployed, what they look like while they're running, showed you a little drone footage, no wind in flat seas, and just enjoyed a nice, calm cruise and exploration. Join us and our crew on our adventures as we explore the amazing world around us. Welcome to our boat and home, Sea Venture. We hope your time with us is both entertaining and inspiring. Just watching the water go by. We're going way too slow for them, I'm sure. All right, we had to work for this one. He's a pretty one down there. That's a nice fish. Yep. All right. Okay. Blake's watching you fish. Watching yeah. He saw the bait go down. I think that was uh, intriguing. down Peril Strait towards Sitka and we finally broken free of all the big passages and now we're working uh, navigating through some smaller passages and it's really kind of fun and interesting. We're going past Big Rose and Little Rose Island and here is how they look out the window. There's Little Rose little piles of what look like rocks, but noted as little islands on the chart. And Big Rose Island. Look at the approach and entering Baby Bear Cove. Well, here's the entrance to Baby Bear Cove. This is actually sped up 10 times actual speed. How do we say this? This cove has a certain pucker factor related to getting in. You wind between the rocks that you can see. You hope there's an opening in the kelp, and we found one right there to squeeze through. Then there's a hard turn to port. Then another narrow passage with a rock right in the middle coming up. So we got to swing to the port now to miss the rock. Then we work our way toward the back of the main part of the bay. There's a little hook around the corner. Looked like a great spot initially where we anchored until the wind kicked up. Later on, you'll see that we needed to move but a beautiful little setting, room for one boat, or maybe as it turns out, three quarters of a boat, Sea Ventures size. So here I'm getting ready to set the anchor. Again, still speed it up 10 times. Rosie does all the driving and maneuvering. It's my job to do, I don't know, throw the anchor overboard. I'm holding a remote control in my hand that's actually running the anchor. And you can see, if you can see, I'm wearing my headsets. We use EarTech headsets that cover both ears. It works great. Uh, you don't get any outside noise with the bigger headsets. We use them all the time. We've seen them us, with us docking. Here we are anchoring with them. It allows us to chit chat. If you're interested in EarTech headsets, I'll put a description in the link below. They're not very inexpensive. We've had cheaper models. Don't buy a cheaper model. We have them all on board. These are the only ones we use. We are anchored in Baby Bear Cove and there's a little family of deer on the beach. Jim and his halibut. Perfect size. That's cool, he fits on the table. Here's the bigger of the silvers we got today. Yeah. He's about 10-ish pounds, yep. Fish cleaning and phenomenal stopped. So that part is nice. Another boat came in and joined us. Back there is the nook where we were anchored originally, but it was just a little too small with the wind and we were not comfortable with it, so we moved out here to the bigger bay. And since the rain, uh, excuse
excuse me, since the wind has stopped, not the rain, but the wind, we are going to take the day and go explore. We have some friends who rafted to us um, yesterday, so it was nice to see them and uh, see what's going on. a subscriber thank you if not we'd love it if you'd subscribe push the like button if you like it and the notification bell so you'll know the next time we upload a video thank you all so much well when you go in an anchorage one thing you're gonna have to do is go out of an anchorage so we're back to pucker time and trying to cruise out here we go ten times normal speed not much of an opening this time can see all the rocks but at least we have our exact track on time zero that we use to get in and we'll just stay right on it getting out. Here, let's take a quick pause and I want to show you another new feature we've added to the channel that we hope you'll like. You'll remember that we added a feature a couple weeks ago where you could click a link in the description down below and it shows you exactly where Sea Venture is today. Well, this is a feature right on the YouTube channel that we think you'll like. Let me show you the computer screen. You can follow along and I'll show you what it is. Here's our last video from last week. And what we've done in here is we've added what's called chapters down here. So you can see as I move along the screen, it shows you uh, and gives you a title for what's in that segment of the chapter. So we hope you like it. Uh, we've tried to make it user friendly. So if you want to bounce around, you can. I've included the Q&A questions as well. Now, this feature is not so that you can skip sections. I just want to make that clear. This feature is so after you've seen the whole video, you can go back and see sections that you want to see again. That's the purpose of the feature. All right, let's get back to the regular show. Approaching Sergis Narrows. It's slack, so this is about as good as it gets, I think. Here's the chart of Sergis Narrows as we're approaching, and... Uh... Here's the current, we're just about reaching uh, slack. The blue square you see here on the chart that makes it look uncharted uh, is because this is actually a dredged channel, so boats can get through here. just barely before slack but I think this is a really hard spot to predict the current predictions are guidelines <laughs> steer through the narrows pat the cat who wants to meow at me if I don't pet him well so of course being in charge what do I do I pet him <laughs> <laughs> Barkley's the one who just wants to play. Blake is just trying to get through the moment. He's the nervous one. Although he doesn't look too bad right now. <laughs> as long as the water's flat, right, pal? Yeah. Flat seas, that's what we like. Here's the third buoy in succession, and it looks like there's almost no current on it. All just funnels right there. There it is on the chart. We're in Salisbury Sound. We are ha experiencing some nice gentle rollers. Um, from the point out there, it's about 3,000 miles to the next land, so we're just all open to the North Pacific here. <coughs> We are working our way around this little islet right up here and where it looks like it's cloudy and rainy. Yep, that's where we're going. We're going in there to our anchorage for tonight. The entrance to Kalinan Bay. Right off of Salisbury Sound. We just got out of the 
out of Sitka. Evidently a super popular destination and we're the only two boats, Fern and us. And um, there's supposed to be a great hike here so we're going to do that tomorrow. And right now we're just kind of getting the lay of the land. this look up the main river of this bay you can see this huge grassy delta yeah. thank you for joining us on this cruise this video was a little shorter than our usual let us know in the comments below if you prefer longer or shorter videos. We would love to hear your thoughts. Join us next week as we go on a great hike through the forest to an oceanfront sandy beach and work our way towards civilization, Sitka, Alaska, along with a new Q&A session. Thank you again and wishing you no wind and flat seas.